Hi friends, welcome to Simplify Maths. Today we are going to learn exercise 4.4 of chapter 4, Simple Equations. First question, set up equations and solve them to find the unknown numbers in the following cases. We are going to write equation first and we are going to solve them to find the unknown numbers. First question, A. Add 4 to 8 times a number, you get 60. Add 4, like a story you need to read. Add 4 means 4 plus 8 times a number, 8 into x. We don't know the number, 8 times a number means what? We don't know, that is the x is the unknown. We are taking here it as x. You can take it whatever you want, a, b, c, d, whatever you want. 4 plus 8x is equal to 60. So, this is our equation here. We formed an equation using this statement. Now, find the unknown. How to find it? Keep the, we are going to separate the variable and we are going to find the value for this x. So, this is variable, right? Variable term. Keep the variable term alone in the left hand side and take the number right side. So, 60 will be here, right side as it is. You just write. So, this positive 4 while transposition, it becomes negative 4, right? So, 8x is equal to 56. x equal to 56, if it is multiplied here, formula is there, no? A into B is equal to C means B, if you want B, C by A is the formula. So, 56 divided by 8. So, X equal to, what is the value? X equal to 7. B, one fifth of a number minus 4 gives 3. One fifth of a number, so 1 by 5 of a number we don't know the unknown let's have here unknown as p 1 by 5 p 1 fifth of a number minus 4 gives 3 means equal to 3 so how to find this keep the variable term left side 1 by 5 p equal to 3 during transposition it becomes plus 4 so this is 1 into p is p divided by 5 equal to what is this? 4 plus 3 is 7. So, P is equal to cross multiplication. 7 into 5. So, this is equal to 35. The value of P is 35. Unknown is 35. Third question. If I take 3 fourth of a number and add 3 to it, I get 21. So, 3 fourth of a number means, see here. 3 by 4 of a number, any number. Let us have x here. 3 by 4 x. If I take 3 fourth of a number and add 3 to it, I am adding 3 to it, I get 21. Separate. So, 3 by 4 x equal to 21 minus 3. Right? So, now, 3 by 4 x equal to 21 minus 3 is 18. So, x equal to 18. Denominator will go and multiply it with the numerator on the right side and this new, uh, numerator will come as a denominator. See, x equal to 18 into 4 by 3, right? So, this 3 can divide 18 6 times. 6 into 4 is 24. The value of x is 24. D. When I subtracted 11 from twice a number, the result was 15. I am subtracting 11 from twice a number. So, from should come first, right? 2 into y. Let us have y as the unknown in this. The result was 15. So, how to do this? 2y. Keep the variable term as it is. Take the remaining number term other side. So, minus 11 becomes plus 11, right? Here, while transposition. So, y is equal to 2, y is equal to what will come? 26. So, y is equal to 26. This will come as a denominator. So, it will get cancelled. y equal to 13 is the answer. E. Munna subtracts thrice the number of notebooks he has from 50. He finds the result to be 8. 
the number of notebooks munna has we don't know right so we are going to take it as x so he subtracts three is the number of notebooks he has from 50 so 50 is the first number from 50 he is going to subtract see here three is the number of notebooks he has so x is the number of notebooks he is subtracting Try the number of notebooks from 50. He finds the result to be 8. Now, how to do this? Keep it as it is. Minus 3x equal to 8. This 50 will come to the right side. So, minus 50. Minus 3x equal to, what is the value? Minus 42. Bigger number is minus 50 here. So, minus after subtraction, minus will come here. Minus 42. Now, x equal to minus 42 divided by 3. It has the, both has the common factor is 3. So, 3 can divide, right? 1 times and how many times? 4 times. So, x equal to minus 3 will come here, right? So, positive 14 only. Like signs, minus divided by minus gives us like signs. So, x equal to 14. Ibn Hal thinks of a number. If she adds 19 to it and divides the sum by 5, she will get 8. Ibn Hal thinks of a number. What number? We don't know. That is the unknown here. Thinks of a number. So, let us have it as y. If she adds 19 to it and divide the sum by 5, she will get 8. It's very easy, right? Ibn Hal thinks of a number is y. Let us have like that. If she adds 19 to it, if she adds 19, so 19 to it, and divide the sum by 5, okay, this is equal to she will get 8. She will get 8 as the answer. How to do this? It's very easy. See here y plus 19 equal to this cross multiplication. 5 will go and get multiplied with the right hand side, right? This is equal to 8 into 5. So y is y plus 19 is equal to 8 5s are 40. y equal to transposition. 40 plus 19 becomes minus 19. Right? While transposition plus 19 becomes minus 19. So, y is equal to 40 minus 19 is 21. 21 is the number Ibn Hal thinks. Anwar thinks of a number. If he takes away 7 from 5 by 2 of the number, the result is 23. Anwar thinks of a number. We don't know the number. So, that is our unknown thing. Let us keep it as x. So, that number, unknown number is x. If he takes away 7 from 5 by 2 of a number. So, 5 by 2 of x, 5 by 2 into x takes away means minus 7. The result is 23. So, it's easy, right? So, 5 by 2. Just listen here. 5 by 2x minus takes away 7 from 5 by 2 of a number takes away so he finally got 23 as the answer after doing this so how to do this 5 by 2 x equal to 23 transposition so this minus 7 becomes plus 7 here 5 by 2 x is equal to 30 right 5 by 2 becomes this gives 5 by 2 x equal to 30. So, x equal to 30 divided by 5 by 2. This comes here. So, 30 into reciprocal 2 by 5. If we cancel, what will come? 6. 6 twos are 12. This is the value. So, x equal to 12 is the answer. We can do like this. Taking this as the single number and get it as a denominator. Otherwise, 
5 by 2 x is equal to 30. So x equal to 30. This cross multiplication. This 2 will go and get multiplied with the numerator and 5 will come as a denominator. So it will go vice versa. Now also same thing. If we cancel 6. 6 2 are 12. So you can use both the methods. Second main solve the following. First question. The teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is twice the lowest marks plus 7. The highest score is 87. It is given right 87. What is the lowest score? So this is our unknown here variable. We can keep it as x. So we will do this problem. Twice the lowest mark. So this is our unknown. We will keep it as x. Twice the lowest mark plus 7 is equal to highest mark. It is already given it is 87. So uh, here the equation is twice the lowest mark. So 2 times of x plus 7 is equal to highest mark given. It is easy now. After that you can do easily. So keep the variable term as it is. And the right hand side as it is take the number numerical term to the right side. So during transposition this becomes minus 7. 2x is equal to 87 minus 7 is 80. x equal to 80 divided by 2. If we divide it becomes 40. So x equal to 40. 40 is the lowest mark obtained in the class. B. In an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. The vertex angle is 40 degree. What are the base angles of the triangle? Remember, the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Isosceles triangle means two sides are equal and one side is different. Also, the vertex angle is given already given it is 40 degree always the base angles are equal it is x and it is also x because both are same equal only equal value now we are going to find the value of this unknowns base angles how to do that also the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree it is a rule that means three angles what are the three angles here 40 degree is the vertex angle. Base angle is x degree plus x degree. This equals 180 degree. All type of triangle, the addition of sum of three angles equal to 180 degree. So, 40 degree plus 2x degree. x plus x is 2x, right? 180 degree. How to do this? Keep 2x degree left side and take 40 degree to the right side. So during transposition, positive becomes negative. So this 2x degree is equal to 140 degree. x degree is equal to 140 degree divided by 2. So 2 can cancel this right. This is 70 degree. So x degree this is base angle is 70 degree each. This is 70 degree. This angle is 70 degree. Similarly this is also 70 degree. So 70 if you add this 70 plus 70 140. 140 plus 40 degree is 180 degree totally. So base angle value is 70 degree. Third question. Sachin scored twice as many runs as Rahul. Together their runs fell too short of a double century. How many runs did each one score? Sachin scored twice as many runs as Rahul. So we don't know Sachin either Rahul. Right? Scores. So what is the scores of Sachin? Let us take it as x. His score be x and his score as y. Sachin scored, so his score is here, is equal to twice as many runs as Rahul. So twice of his runs is x equal to 2y. This is equation 1. Together their runs is equal to, together means they both, they are both scores. So x his score plus his score y. 
both equal to equals 2 short of a double century. Double century means 200, right? 2 short means minus 2. So, 200 minus 2 is 198. So, 198 runs together. They made 198 runs. How to do this? This is equation 2. Now, what we are going to do is, instead of x, we are going to substitute 2y in second equation. Okay. So, here I am writing like this. Substitute x equal to 2y in equation 2. So, where, wherever x comes, we need to substitute 2y. So, here instead of x, I am going to write 2y plus y is equal to 198. 2y plus y is 3y is equal to 198. y is equal to 198 divided by 3. 3 can cancel it, right? 6 times and another 6 times. So, this gives y equal to 66. y is, y belongs to whose runs? Rahul runs. So, Rahul took 66 runs. So, now we want to know Sachin's run also. How to know Sachin run? Substitute y is equal to 66 in equation 1. That's all. We are going to substitute this value in equation 1. What is equation 1? Equation 1 gives us, see here, equation 1 gives us x equal to 2y. Now, what is the value of y? 66. 2 into 66 instead of y, 66. x equal to 66 into 2 gives us 132. So, Sachin scored 132 runs and Rahul scored 66 runs. That's all. In third main, solve the following. First two questions already came in 4.1 exercise. So, we already did it in that video. Only we are going to do third subdivision here. The number of non-fruit trees were 2 more than 3 times the number of fruit trees. We don't know the value of non-fruit trees and fruit trees also. So, let us take this as x. Okay, this is x and this is fruit trees as y. Non-fruit tree x, fruit trees y. So, non-fruit trees were, so this x is equal to 2 more than 2, more than means always addition, 2 more than 3 times the number of fruit trees. Fruit trees is y, 3 times fruit trees. So, this is the equation we are getting. Now, non-fruit trees planted equal to 77. Now, they are telling non-fruit trees, that means x planted were 77. So, what, how many number of fruit trees were planted? That is the question here. So, let us write this as 3y plus 2 is equal to x. Same thing I am writing, interchanging. Right side as left side, left side as right side. That's all. 2 plus 3y can be written as 3y plus 2 is equal to x. This is by commutative law. No problem, right? a plus b is okay simply 5 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 5 right so we can interchange not a problem so now we will find how to do this this is equal to 3y plus 2 it is given this x is equal to 77 right non-fruit trees value non-fruit trees planted is 77 so how to do this 3y is equal to 77 transposition so, this 2 will come as negative 2. Positive becomes negative while transposition. So, 3y is equal to 75. y is equal to 75 divided by 3. Right? 3 can divide this 2 times and 5 times. So, y is equal to 25. 25 fruit trees. This is fruit tree. 25 fruit trees were planted. See, last question. Solve the following riddle. I am a number. Tell my identity. Take me 7 times over and add a 50. To reach a triple century, you still need 40. 
So how to do this? I am a number. That means this is the riddle. We are going to find what is this number is. So we are going to take it as x. We are going to find the identity of x. So take me 7 times. So 7 into x. This number is telling you. Take me 7 times over and add 50. Over that add 50. This is equal to to reach a triple century, you still need 40. So triple century is 300, right? You still need 40 to reach 300. So 300 minus 40 gives us 260. So this is the number will come here. To reach a triple century, you still need 40. That is the meaning of this. Now, we will find the value of this x. So 7x equal to... 260 transposition minus 50 will come here plus becomes minus so 7x equal to 210 x equal to 210 divided by 7 this is equal to if we cancel 3 times 7 in 21 0 30 so x equal to 30 is the value this is the x equal to 30 is the identity of the number that's all. Thank you.